All right, thanks for checking out this new eCover Creator. This video is only for the Mac version for now. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is come over here and look for the eCover templates. So there's eCover templates, and you'll see a couple of them that I've put in here. And then we also have eCovers, 3D eCovers. And these are your, your, uh, your covers. So let me show you the first step. First step, you want to go to the eCover templates and pick a template like, and this is a good one, okay? Changing it is just as easy as anything you've ever changed in the creator. And if you don't like the objects built in, up here I have, um, I'm going to be adding more, but for now, eCover elements. And you want to look for something like money elements. We're going to have a whole bunch of stuff here pretty soon. And drop something down like this. Okay. And shrink it. And change the background color. Just goof around with this whole thing. All right. So once you have it all taken care of exactly like you want, go up here to the file menu and export this as a JPEG. Save it. Make money, however you want to name it, whatever, and save it. And you're going to notice it's going to be on your desktop, preferably. Actually, it should be. Here it is. Okay, next step, you're going to go over here to select a template. And we're not going to save this for now because I'm just giving you an example. And now we're going to ch choose our 3D covers. And here's the cool part. So any one of these, let's try this one for now. All right, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is click on the face of it. You'll notice it highlights itself in yellow. Then once it's selected, drag over the image. Boom, there it is, okay? And you can do the side of the box as well, but if you do something like this, it kind of scrunches it a little bit. So you can choose to do that or choose just to bring over something like um, another pattern or something, whatever. Or something like this. I'm gonna have different different textures for the sides of the box. And the, the top also changes, but it looks good gray. All right, there's your box, super easy. Now we're gonna export this again. So let's go under the file menu and choose export as PNG transparent. Export to. And now you have your box as a transparent PNG on your desktop. Now you can open up a third canvas. Let's not save this. And now here's where your graphics come in. Folders, look for eCover backgrounds. Nope, sorry, you're looking for backgrounds. And I'm gonna be adding more, but for this example, we can bring uh, this guy over here. And now we go to format and we can make it taller if we want to. And now this guy, we're going to import one more time. Import, find our box and boom, there he is. And now we can manipulate it a lot easier by shrinking it, adding text, and clicking on the box and making a shadow on the box. Image shadow. So there's all kinds of things you can do. You can just play with it, set the opacity back a little bit. There we go. And then for the fourth and last time, <laughs> We export this guy as your final graphic. You can make this a JPEG if you want to. Final graphic. And here he is. There's your ad or your Facebook page. And if I double click it, it opens up a really cool picture. Ta-da. OK, so to reiterate one more time, we select, let's not save this. We select a cover or bring in your own cover. Make sure you have it on the side, you know, on your desktop because you have to drag it over. So you're going to um, manipulate one of these covers. 
okay? Export it as a JPEG because it's just a picture. Export 1B, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Then we're going to open up any one of these 3DE covers. Um, let's try this one. Make sure when you click it, it's highlighted in yellow. Sometimes it doesn't highlight, right? And then you bring over your new cover. Boom. And if you don't want this background and you don't want to do the 300 exports, whatever, just bring in a background, send it to the back, and manipulate the image so it looks, you know, fairly decent. And there you go. And then this is an export as it is. Ta-da, easy. Cool. So goof around with all this, play with it. Um, one thing I want to keep you want, what do you, I want you to keep in mind is that sometimes uh, I've tried to be a little too tricky for my own good, I think. For example, um, this template here, okay, it comes in two pieces. It comes in this piece and this piece. So this piece has a slight drop shadow over it and you can put stuff over it like that so it looks like it's inside the box and this piece has the cover okay so something like that um, and then you're going to export this and then you can set it on anything you want to and just goof around with it uh, everything's uh, transparent and it's going to be cool once i get it done so have fun with it and email me or text me or facebook me or whatever and ask me any questions i'll be here have fun with it all.